So uh, where are we? We are in the heart of Milan at Cartusio Square. But the reason I wanted to show you this is that five years ago, we opened in, in Italy and here in Milan. I found this piece of real estate, literally, this was a vacant post office. So we acquire it and naturally there was tremendous resistance. All the headlines before we opened said, Starbucks will fail in Italy. Well, five years later, we opened the roastery to extraordinary level of fanfare, uh, lines out the door, and the theater, the romance, and everything we do in here is in keeping with the respect that we want to have for the Italian heritage, Italian coffee culture, and the Italian customer. Unfortunately, we're not roasting coffee right now, but the entire inspiration for the roasteries that we've built was um, I sat down with our design team seven years ago and uh, in my home and I put a movie on. And the movie was Willy Wonka and Gene Wilder. And I played that movie because there was such romance, theater, fun in how the movie brought the chocolate to life in an environment that looked like a train set almost. Could we replicate that by bringing green coffee, roasting it, and then creating this system all around the roastery, and the customer could see the theater and the romance right. and the magic of this. And so we did this at great expense. People thought it was crazy. It's not gonna pencil out. Nevertheless, the, the, the value of the roasteries has been incalculable. And I think it speaks to the imagination, the entrepreneurial DNA of the company. I would say that I, I, I would probably have made people crazy about the level of attention and the fastidious that I have about these roasters. And, and like, what's an example of something you would uh, like go uh, back and back and get into? Oh, even, and... even the shape of the glassware, even the, the demi-tasse cup for espresso, uh, the placement of the espresso machines. I want our people to be in front of our customer and not have to turn their back too often. Uh, the music, the environment, uh, the lighting. I mean, this is a stage more than anything else. And then we are sending coffee to other stores in Italy. We have 25 stores in Italy that's coming from here as well. I know Italy, you know, isn't the most important market financially uh, yeah. to, to the company, but it is the most important market to you. Uh, why? Everything that Starbucks is today was born out of a trip that I came, that when I came here in 1983. Everything I've learned about coffee, the, the nectar of the, of the gods, espresso, uh, has been learned, respected, value, and so being in Italy for me, when everyone in the world said, don't go to Italy, you won't succeed there, uh, it, it's been so gratifying. The other thing is, the Italians have fully embraced Starbucks coffee as their own. Now we're heading out to the bar. And so all of the roasteries have an extensive alcohol bar with Italian beverages, and every roastery we've opened, we've done this, and it's been a great hit. What's your uh, daily coffee routine? My daily coffee routine is a, uh, when I wake up in the morning, I make myself a doppio espresso macchiato. Okay. Which is two shots of espresso and just a little dollop of, of steamed milk. And then I'm, I'm making a French press for my wife and I. Grandma, I shouldn't you drink coffee. I do, yeah. I mean, if he said no, I think we'd stop the interview. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers. It'll be hot, be careful. That's damn good coffee. That's really good.